Researchers in the United States have conducted a study showing that the Moderna Mrna 1273 vaccine effectively protects against recently emerged variants of severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 the agent that causes coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19. The team compared the neutralization activity of blood taken from infected and vaccinated individuals against a panel of SARS-CoV-2 variants, including the B117 that emerged in the UK. The team, from Emory University School of Medicine in Atlanta, the University of Texas Medical Branch, and the COVID-19 Neutralization Study Group, found that antibodies generated by both infected and vaccinated individuals effectively neutralized all of the variants. However, as further variants continue to emerge, it will be essential to assess their impact on the potency of neutralizing responses following both infection and vaccination, warns the team. A preprint version of the research paper is available on the Medrixiv server, while the article undergoes peer review. The SARS-CoV-2 Infection Process In order to infect cells, SARS-CoV-2 uses a surface viral structure called the spike protein to bind to the host cell receptor angiotensin converting enzyme 2, ACE2. The spike protein is the primary target of neutralizing antibodies and levels of these antibodies correlate with protection against COVID-19. Neutralizing antibodies are generated within 10 days of symptom onset and studies have shown that they are maintained for at least 8 months. Similarly, Moderna's Mrna 1273 vaccine generates neutralizing antibodies that are detectable for at least 119 days. However, the recent emergence of SARS-CoV-2 variants, including the B-1-1, Seven strain that has arisen in the UK, has sparked concerns regarding the breadth of these neutralizing antibody responses. What did the researchers do? Suther and colleagues compared the neutralization potency of sera from 20 patients with acute infection, 20 recovered individuals, and 14 healthy vaccinees, against a panel of SARS-CoV-2 variants. Symptom onset had occurred between 8 and 24 days previously among the 20 acutely infected patients and between 30 and 90 days previously among the convalescent patients. The immunized participants, aged between 18 and 55 years, had received two injections of Moderna's Mrna 1273 vaccine at a dose of 100 microg, with a second dose administered 14 days previously. The panel of SARS-CoV-2 variants included an early variant isolated from an individual in Washington, WA1, a later D614G variant isolated from a patient in Georgia in March 2020, EHC083E, and a B. 1, 1, 7 variant isolated from a patient in California. The team also included a recombinant SARS-CoV-2 virus containing a single point mutation within the spike protein at position 501, N501Y. Levels of neutralizing antibodies were measured using a live virus focus reduction neutralization test. What did they find? The findings showed that antibodies were effective at neutralizing all variants, whether they were generated following natural infection or vaccination. The team observed no significant reduction in levels of neutralizing antibodies against any of the variants. The researchers say the findings suggest that in the context of the UK variant, vaccine-induced immunity can provide protection against COVID-19. This article was originally written by Sally Robertson for News Medical Net on February 8, 2021. Research from Israel shows Mrna vaccine is 50% effective in reducing severe cases. Amid the coronavirus disease, COVID-19, pandemic, caused by the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2, there is a ray of hope as vaccinations against the virus roll out in many countries. Israel is one of the countries that has started vaccinating its residents. The country has administered more than 55 doses of either the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine for every 100 residents. A third of its population has already received at least the first dose of the required two doses to date. In a report published on the preprint server Medrixiv, researchers at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, the University of Toronto, and the Raqqa Institute of Physics suggest that the shape of the outbreak in patients over 60 years old has changed because of the vaccinations. After the vaccination rollout in Israel, there has been a decline in new moderate and severe cases earlier than expected, by about a week. Israel's COVID-19 Vaccine Campaign About one in three residents in Israel has received vaccination against COVID-19 since December 19. 2021. The country's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, has campaigned heavily for vaccinations, personally negotiating with Pfizer, one of the forerunners in developing a COVID-19 vaccine, to secure early shipments of the vaccines. The campaign prioritized individuals aged 60 years old and over, immune-deficient patients, and health workers. By January 25, 2021, about 2.6 million Israelis, or 29% of the population, had been vaccinated with at least the first dose. The second dose is rolling out, yielding a vaccine coverage of 80%. With the rapid vaccine rollout, 
there is evidence that the program is significantly affecting virus transmission in the country. The cases of COVID-19 in Israel are falling among older adults, who were among the first people who received their vaccines. Hospital admissions among the over 60s have declined by 26% since the peak on January 19. However, among those between 40 and 59 years old, the age group in the queue to be vaccinated, the number of severe cases increases by 13%. Effectiveness of vaccines in mitigating the pandemic Israel is a perfect example to determine the efficacy of vaccinations against SARS-CoV-2 on mitigating the number of cases, particularly moderate to severe ones that require hospitalization. To arrive at the study findings, the team used data analysis to model epidemic dynamics in the country, comparing various lockdown duration and efficacy scenarios. The team modeled each scenario with and without a vaccine coverage. Further, the researchers studied the daily trends of new confirmed cases, including new moderate or severe COVID-19 cases in Israel. Moderate cases are those patients with COVID-19 who developed bilateral pneumonia. Meanwhile, severe cases are those with COVID-19 with oxygen saturation below 93% while breathing ambient air. These cases are at a higher risk of health deterioration, with a 15-20% to fatality rate within 10 days. The team also noted that, on average, moderate and severe COVID-19 admissions occur about five days following a positive test and about 10 days from the actual onset of infection. Hence, the number of new and severe COVID-19 cases may provide an insight into the dynamics of the disease. The study also tackled the trends of moderate and severe cases as potential measures of disease dynamics and the effect of the vaccine on the outbreak. The study findings showed that the shape of the COVID-19 outbreak, based on the daily new moderate and severe cases in patients over 60, has changed due to vaccination efforts. The decline in the new moderate and severe cases occurred earlier than expected, by an estimated one week. The team also noted that the study findings were consistent with the theory that vaccination leads to higher than 50% protection in preventing clinical disease. Also, it is effective in stopping the transmission of the virus in older adults. Overall, the researchers believe that vaccinating the most vulnerable members of the population, including the elderly and high-risk individuals, can help reduce severe cases and deaths tied to COVID-19. Vaccination efforts are crucial to combat the pandemic and to stop the ongoing pandemic. To date, the total number of cases has reached over 106 million, with more than 2.3 million deaths globally. This article was originally written by Angela Bitsadalagipo for News Medical Net on February 8, 2021.